Hi, everyone. My name is Mahar Nawaf. I am a research fellow and examination committee member at Technology University. Thank you for the invitation for IC Biomed Conference. Today I'm going to talk about TRX with a special focus on uh, chimeric antigen receptor TRX as a promising approach for inducing immunological tolerance. The agenda of my talk will focus on giving a background about TRX and their suppressive mechanisms, T cell products as a drugs for treating autoimmune disease, CAR TRX, how we generate them and going through some clinical trials and marketing and the future of TRX. And I will highlight some data from a recently published study for generating CAR TRX, then going at the end to the limitations of CAR TRX. The phenomenon of immunological tolerance is dated in 19. 50. However, the field of immunological tolerance started in late 60 with the work of Kono and Gershon, who shown that tolerance tra is transferable with leukocyte from tolerant animals, and they promoted the concept of suppressive T cells. They tried for decades to analyze those cells and the cell mediated dysfunction. However, they failed to approve or to provide the evidence for the existence of these cells because of the lack of reliable molecular markers and the conflict of the data. Then the field died until in 1994, when a group in Japan showed that uh, the autoimmune disease in thymectomized mice could be prevented or even reversed with adaptive transfer of CD4 positive, CD25 positive T cell population. So they defined a markers for suppressive cells, which is CD25. And at that point, suppressive cells has been identified. In 2003, three papers came out and they described the discovery of FOXP3 as the master regulator of TRX development and function. These papers were essential in validating the existence of TRX as specialized cell lineage. Moreover, they dem the demonstration of IPEX or uh, uh, FOXP3 protein as a, uh, moreover, the demonstration of IPEX fatal disease was due to a deficiency in TRX, established direct evidence of TRX as critical regulator of immune homeostasis. TRX are generated in our body through central and peripheral tolerance pathways. In the thymus, TRX are generated after negative and positive selection mechanisms while in the periphery, TRX can be generated from conversion of conventional CD4 T cells under cytokine environment, such as TGF-beta and retinoic acid. So this could happen in the gut. TRX can target a wide range of cells in our body. And by doing this, they maintain balance, balanced tolerance. If the balance not maintain it, this would lead to development of autoimmune disease. The ability of TRX to regulate all those cells is due to a wide range of suppressive mechanisms they display, such as modulation of antigen presenting cells or production of inhibitory cytokines or metabolic disruption or induction of cytolysis proteins such as perforin or granzyme or induction of infectious tolerance. All those mechanisms involved in the suppressive function of 
T-Rex. Autoimmune disorders affect more than 4% of the world population, and the incidence of autoimmune disease is rising globally. Therefore, treating those diseases becomes major interest of companies in the therapeutic market, and the therapeutic market size is increasing, which could reach 100 billion by next decade. The options for treatment for those autoimmune disease are either non-T-cell based therapeutics and T-cell therapeutics. However, as you can see from this data, the options, the options for cell based therapeutics interest increasing over the other approaches. Sorry. T-Rex based products. T-Rex cell products. Interest. Attention comes to the use of T-Rex as therapeutics after they have been identified fully with their reliable markers and after two cases reported for using family donors expanded T-Rex for treating chronic and acute graft versus horse disease in Poland in 2009. The therapy allowed for significant elevation of the symptoms and reduction of the pharmacologic immune suppression. TREX products can be produced by three approaches, either by polyclonal expansion of TREX with beads. And this product, the cell yield is very high. However, the specificity of those cells is very low and their functional suppressor or potency is medium with uh, non-stability. Uh, uh, non the other approach is by production of antigen-specific T-Rex. The cell yield in this approach is very low and the specificity is very high and they are very suppressive. However, because of the lack number of the issue of the number, these cells need to be expanded further to get a required number for cell to be used as a, pro as a therapy. And by doing that, the cells can lose their phenotype and stability. The other approach is by engineering T-Rex by either generating CAR T-Rex or T-cell receptor T-Rex. The cell yield in this approach is very high and they are very specific and they are very suppressive. So far, there are 65 of clinical trials of T-Rex cell therapy for autoimmune disease. Mostly they are centered in, in Europe and USA. All these clinical trials have led to clear evidence that T-Rex therapy is feasible and can be administered safely and is tolerated for long term. There is no evidence of increased infection or cancer development in all those clinical trials is being reported. So what are CAR T cells? CAR cells or chimeric antigen receptor T cells, it is a systemic hybrid of the antigen recognition region of an antibody which is combined with the underlying machinery of T cell receptor. There, these cells has been developed over time. And nowadays there are uh, the fourth generation or fifth generation of these CAR T cells. All of this development tended to provide those T cells with core stimulatory signals and cytokine signals that increase their cytotoxicity, proliferation and resistant as well as their survival. CAR T cells has been used in preclinical and clinical 
studies for treating multiple autoimmune, di uh, autoimmune disease such as GVHD, type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, vitiligo, inflammatory bowel disease, asthma, hemophilia, immune response to gene therapy. Recently, anti-CD19 CAR T cells has been used to treat SLE autoimmune disease in five patients who are refractory to severe immunosuppressive drug treatments. So in this approach, autologous T cells from patients with SLE were transduced with lentiviral anti-CD19 CAR vector expanded and reinfused at the dose of 1 million cells per kilogram body into patients. After depletion of, lymph, uh, of lymphocytes, CAR T cells expanded in vivo and this led to deep depletion of B cells, improvement of the clinical symptoms and normalization of la laboratory parameters in those patients, including zero conversion of anti-double-stranded DNA antibodies. Drug-free remission was maintained during longer follow-up and reappearing B cells were naive and show no classic switching B cell receptors. RTREX can be generated by taking blood from donors and then isolating uh, regulatory T cells, CD4, CD25 cells, or conventional CD4 T cells. Those cells are expanded to produce a master product. On the side of the T-Rex, those T-Rex need to be engineered for expression of the of CAR receptor by transduction with a viral vector or gene editing tools, and this can generate CAR T-Rex. The other approach is from conventional T cells. However, in this approach, this needs to co-transduction uh, co of the T cell, of the T cell master product with CAR construct and FOXP3 to provide them with stable and suppressive functions. And this product then expanded, purified, and quality control tested and stored until are uh, available for delivery and infusion to patients. There are four key properties needed for regulatory T cells to be used as successful living drugs. Suppression, specificity, stability, and survival. The future of CAR T-Rex is to generate universal donor regulatory T cells for adaptive cell therapy, which represents the ultimate goal to broaden the use of T-Rex as therapeutics. In this approach, the master product then for, can be taken from PBMCs or from other sources, but it undergo genome editing. In this genome editing, there will be a knockout of HLA molecules and endogenous TCR receptor. And by doing that, we can then provide them with non-classical HLA and they become non-specific HLA and can be transferred to any other donor. Then the universal product need some gene knocking in that provide them with signals that provide them with signals for cytotoxicity and persistence and survival. Also, it can be provided with a suicide molecule that near the suicide molecule is to target those cells when they go under uh, when, when they they go uh, out of control and by injecting uh, the, the patient with some sort of mono, uh, clinically approved uh, monoclonal antibody, we can eliminate this product from patients or from uh, uh, recipient body. This is a universal T reg hope, and there are currently a lot of platforms that uh, many academia and industries are working on to generate this uh, um, car, uh, universal car T-Rex. Some of them, such as um, bivalent car or sin notch technology, they, in these approaches, the, uh, it, uh, there is a need for 
two antigens so those can T cells can work and this provide them with specificity and toxicity. So uh, in, in fact, as a confidence in the therapy has grown, more than 10 companies have initiated TREC program using both conventional and engineered TREC. Each has their cell source and designed modification for a specific autoimmune disease or target. Some of them, which is one of the biggest one, is Sonoma Biotherapeutics. And uh, so far, there are only three clinical trials has been approved for using car t for different disease, for lymphoma, leukemia, and for kidney transplantation and liver transplantation. I'm going also to highlight some data about this original study, which is published uh, published uh, recently. So researchers generated uh, TCR deficient anti-HLI to car t and they assessed their trafficking, survival, and function in humanized mouse hostess. So persistent engineering of AI a2 car into translocus of the human T-Rex. As you can see, they generated this car T-Rex, which are uh, A2 uh, specific, and they are functional. They are expressing FOXP3 and Helios at high level, which are essential for providing suppressive mechanisms to T-Rex. Then they tested the trafficking of those A2 car t by injecting, uh, uh, by transplant, transplanting pancreatic islet grafts on the, on mice. As you can see, the mice which been transplanted with islets and injected with car t -rex, the t after uh, day 10, day six or day 10 and day 16, they transfer from the left side of the mice to the uh, right side and uh, to the transplant side, while the uh, T-Rex, which has been polyclonally expanded and transfer the endorsed mice, they couldn't traffic to the graft transplant and even they disappear from mice body. Further, they also tested this uh, product in xenogenic GVHD model, the CAR T Rex confer protection against graft versus host disease. So, if you injected uh, uh, immunodeficient NSG mice with PBMCs only from human, the mice die within 40 days. But if you injected those mice with PBMCs from human and then treated them with at the same time with CAR T Rex, those CAR T Rex generate tolerance and extended the survival uh, uh, percentage and life for those mice. At the end, there are some limitations of CAR T Rex, which I need uh, to highlight. So, further optimization is required to increase T Rex suppressive function and prevent exhaustion and assess their safety profile. This product is technically challenging and expensive, and there is no clear adverse reaction or cytokine storm, storm and nervous cytotoxicity of this product, and this need to be tested. There is a need to characterize antibodies specific for self or allo antigens to construct efficient and specific CAR t -rex. And selection of antigens targeted by CARs and development of specific antibodies are time consuming and may be difficult in some uh, disease models. At the end, thank you very much for your listening and thank you for your invitation.